and welcome folks welcome along to helium down under uh, this is another quick video update and uh, my name is Ian I'm your host for tonight thanks very much for dropping in all right last night 24 hours ago I did an update that uh, demonstrate or rather told you about the latest helium hotspots that were available and where they stood in relation to the Australian and New Zealand area uh, focused on the AU 915 frequency band uh, if this is your first time dropping into this channel uh, this is a channel that is going to be aimed primarily at the Australian New Zealand area uh, but of course the content that we deliver here will likewise be relevant to all of our other helium friends around the world uh, just with a bit more of an Australian flavor to it so to all of our non Aussies I say g'day mate how you going <laughs> alrighty uh, let's have a look before we get into the content tonight uh, there is uh, a little bit of information or rather some shout outs that I would like to do uh, because I'm all about trying to build a sense of community and that's a community within our group here in Australia but also within my fellow content creators on YouTube there are some fantastic content creators who are also focusing on helium and I would like to acknowledge those guys here tonight and encourage you to subscribe to their channel and follow their videos if you are not already doing so all right let's have a look our first shout out goes to crypto gossip who I believe from memory his name is Aaron and he delivers some great content uh, typically does three to four videos a week giving an update on all the delivery and the units that are available uh, he is focused in the US he also does cover, cover some other uh, random uh, cryptocurrency news so follow crypto gossip and watch his videos if you like more of a UK flavor to your updates you like that little bit more of a refined accent then what you need to follow folks is my good friend crypto layman uh, he produces he is probably of all of the YouTube creators focused on helium uh, crypto layman is probably the most regular when it comes to content that I have found uh, he is producing videos generally once a day and in some cases twice a day and he provides the latest top-notch information on all of the hotspot availability the shipments from all of the companies uh, around the world even those that are uh, not focused on the UK where he is so well worth guys if you're looking to maintain a regular update on where the hotspots are save yourself the trouble of trolling through all of the information check out crypto gossip check that uh, check out crypto layman uh, they're both great channels our third person that I will give a shout out to is Ed Barlow or Balu. I'm not entirely sure how I say that but uh, Ed I'm sorry about that uh, but Ed was in fact the first helium content channel that I started to follow uh, approximately three months ago and Ed has got some tremendous uh, content on there his content is not too dissimilar in delivery mechanism and style to maybe what you'll find here on helium down under uh, Ed is in the US and uh, he does actually have he runs a program that I'm trying to think of what it's called now uh, the people's hotspot that's right it's a sort of like a community owned hotspot that he places with people while they're waiting for their miners to arrive obviously you have to be selected to be on that but I believe based on the video that I watched today that he is going to or maybe it was on Twitter I'm not sure uh, but either way I believe that Ed is going to be placing a people's hotspot in Australia and I think it might have been around Newcastle not entirely sure follow Ed's material watch his videos you'll find out for yourself so g'day Ed you're doing a great job mate keep it up uh, the final shout out that I will give is helium noob and uh, now whereas all of the other channels previously have primarily been based around uh, the delivery time frame for the helium hotspots uh, helium noob is by far the most uh, top-notch really quality channel that provides DIY do-it-yourself type installation and equipment type videos uh, he will show you how to mount your antenna how to ground the antenna uh, he is obviously a bit of a tradesman I believe because uh, he is far better organized than what I am uh, so definitely do yourself a favor and favor and follow uh, subscribe to helium noob and watch his content as well so there you go guys uh, five shout outs to five top-notch blokes 
uh, within the Helium community who are like myself producing content that is aimed in uh, sharing the good news about Helium. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, the content tonight is being is focused on a question that came up as in la in the comments to yesterday's video because I mentioned yesterday that a few members, especially our two units down in Melbourne, were Bobcat miners, which I will remind you once again here in this uh, video and in every video that I produce until the information changes, Bobcats, bum bum, they are not legal in Australia. They do not run on the AU915 band, they run on the US. 915 band and they do not change automatically like some of the other hotspots do to become legal here. So guys, whilst really as frustrating as it is because Bobcat have by far uh, got the best record for consistent delivery on time of new orders for Helium hotspots. And I would love to order a Bobcat because I feel that I would probably have it in my hands within the next six to 12 weeks, uh, which is much faster than what I will with most of the other uh, most of the other companies. But they are not legal here, so bomb bomb, do not purchase it. But how do I know they're Bobcats? That's the topic of tonight's uh, conversation or quick video. All right, I am on the Explorer map. I've gone down to Melbourne. I've clicked on one of the units here which goes to the hotspot details page. Let's have a look what we can see. All right, on this page, of course, you've probably seen this before, the witnesses and the MI hotspots, the rewards activity, etc. Now, I'll just, I'll just point out the fact that uh, these units down in Melbourne are actually working right now. They are on the blockchain. They are producing HNT. There are the two units which are witnessing one another, which means that they're actually getting a, well, modest, a, modest return on their investment. However, don't confuse the fact that they do physically work to the fact that that makes them somehow legal. They are operating illegally in Australia and will at some point be closed down. Um, okay, but that's not the topic of tonight's video. We covered that last night. We wanted to know how do we know they're Bobcats. Click on the activity tab. Then you need to click on the toggle filters and then you need to click on the assert location. Look, I generally find that most units seem to be on the assert location V2, but I'm going to suggest also click V1. I don't know what the difference is, but at least you're going to cover your bases. All right, this shows me that the unit that we're looking at here, which is Passive Chrome Hippo, has been assert assigned to the blockchain twice. Uh, now, when you purchase your Helium hotspot, you will generally, uh, providing all of the manufacturers are doing what the existing ones are, and that is that they will give you a credit for your first placement on to the blockchain. So they, they will be paying your first placement. Any placement that you make because you need to move your hotspot, generally after that will be up to you to fund. And I believe it's around $10. Um, so let's have a look here. We'll click on the very first one, which was in the 27th of May. Uh, we click on assert location, we go down the bottom, and here we go. Staking P, uh, try that again. Staking fee payer is Bobcat. So we can see that this is a Bobcat unit, not legal in Australia. Hey uh, guys, you're not going to have enough time to do Right now, you could uh, spend time and go and scan through all of the units in Australia if you choose to. However, at the end of the day, it's not going to change anything. Um, at all. Uh, but let's just have a look at our unit that's up here in the ACT. Let's have a look at our unit that is called Perfect Latte Robin. That actually sounds like a really nice coffee. Um, okay, we'll go across to our activity. Uh, we'll click on our toggle filter, assert location. Uh, well, I'll just click on version two. There's our assert location, which came on on the 17th of June. And let's have a look. And this one is a fully legal and compliant Nebra unit. Now, guys, if you were to go through the units that are on the Australian map as we speak, and I have not been through every unit here, I just happen to know that the two Australian units are Bobcat. I also know that this unit up here in Brisbane is also a Bobcat. 
And I believe that there could be a unit down in Sydney as a bobcat, but I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go and actually investigate that. I'm really not sure. But just be aware, guys, if you are buying a purchasing your hotspots, make sure that the unit that you're purchasing is AU915, which makes it legal um, in Australia. So I uh, really appreciate you watching the video tonight. Uh, hopefully you've got something. It's only been a really quick video. Uh, let's see how long has tonight's video gone? I can't see where the time frame is. There we go. It's only 10 minutes. So I think that's pretty much a record for me. Uh, we'll look forward, uh, look out for uh, more content over the next couple of days. There were some other sort of uh, frequently asked questions that have been coming up on the Discord channel, uh, the Facebook group and also on my YouTube videos. So I'm going to start taking some of the questions from there and turning them into short 10 to 15 minute videos. So with that guys, have an awesome night, have an amazing day. Uh, the helium journey has just begun. Uh, there are more hotspots. Uh, Nebra incidentally, just today shipped batch number two from the, uh, from the factory in China. Uh, so they are now starting their journey around the world. So I have no doubt the very soon we will see more Nebra hotspots appearing on the Australian map. With that, my friends, I will say, where's the stop button? There it is. And I'll say, good night. <laughs>